And everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Control. Last time we were continuing the Alan Wake DLC, um, and uh, came across the thing that was Hartman, I believe it was called. Um, we also played a little bit of the arcade Shoom, um, which was basically like endurance round, uh, just kind of like horde mode, uh, that lasted for about half an hour before I died, and it was still like only two thirds uh, completed. Uh, and we uh, got to hear a lot from Langston, like a lot from Langston. And we ended off right in front of the, what looks like the uh, lunar, the, the, the moon landing. And it looks like we have someone in front of it. Uh, I'm guessing it's the thing that was Hartman. So, um, maybe we should go over and uh, say hello. Knew you'd be oh, did you? Oh, right. Gotta turn on lights. Shit. Um. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Where am I taking this light thing? Well, shit, I realized that it was actually covered in darkness, so I couldn't even get that uh, battery. So we have to generate some light in order to stay safe. Oh my god. Uh, I'm guessing over there. That didn't really do anything. All right. Uh, we'll read all this stuff afterwards. Right now. Oh. It's a light that moves. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. All right. I have no idea where this thing is going. So where did it stop? Oh, it stopped up there. Okay. So... Did it break the... So this shows the pattern, so it goes up there, so it broke that, but now we need to know where to put it. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. It's over there. Uh, okay. Um, it'd be nice if I can get some kind of healing. Okay, so we need to move this up there. Oh, I see. This brings it back that way, and that takes it that way. This is what we want. Brought it all the way up there. Okay. And now. So there's one. Oh my 
god, there was only one battery. There's more. Shit. Okay, so that one's locked into place now. So I need to find out where the other batteries are. Fuck. Okay, well. Let's do it. Oh shit. I didn't grab it. I didn't grab it. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. So I wonder what will happen. Will it actually come this way? Yeah, it looks like it's coming this way. That's good. Hey, you could fuck right off, buddy. You can... You can fuck right off. I'll go. Alright, so we got two. Let's bring this back. That was bullshit. That was fucking bullshit. Well, this battery is saved. That's interesting. So where is the other one? Sorry, you fucking run, bitch. There. One last place for him to hide. Gerbil took the top head. What is this? Speak with the voice on the cell intercom. <clears throat> okay, before we move on, I just want to point out something. <clears throat> um... This is the main mission, the finished tango. Look at all these extra side missions to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven side quests. 
to be fair, s uh, at least some of them are probably from the DLC. But still, man. Okay, before we move on, are we moving on this way? I guess this would kind of take us back. Uh, let's let's look around this area. <clears throat> Fucking assholes! They locked Hartman up for years in this section of the fucking bureau. Like, can you believe that shit? Jam Slam Mega Hoop, eh? Fra Maro Supplement. The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as Fra, went un underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance into the oldest house. The entity can speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. Interview material can be found at blank. Its physical form consists solely of the Extravehicular Mobility Unit, EMU, spacesuit used by NASA astronauts, the same model worn by the other crew. This could be an authentic EMU taken away from one of the NASA astronauts, though this suit does not bear any wearer's name or one materialized through blank conversion or possibly blank corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat for the entity to strap into during re-entry. The EMU is entirely hollow and pieces can be removed, though this seems to agitate the entity. X-rays and spectrograph imaging have shown blank shaped outlines existing within the suit. For safety reasons, the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered. What's the multimedia here? Oh god, yeah, links in. Okay. Yes, hello. Yes, me? Worry who? See the sea. Oh! It's spider time! Hello? Hello! Great about us today. Long roads and no hardly. You are bygone? Uh... Sure. Why are you locked up in here? Ah, uh, casual turning. Back in front. And <laughs> Gerbil took the top head. Gerbil Not took being the top head. Lady going and loosing back for I? Sorry, I... I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? The head. The head for tales. For reading news, jars, words, and tumble. The reading head. Okay, okay, take it easy. I'll, uh, I'll take a look. So maybe it wants something to read. Or a jar. Let's just see what we can find. Let's just see what we can find. All right, let's head back to this one. Mobile lab number one. Let's see what... I, I can't even see what the fuck that is. Is that toilet paper? I doubt it's toilet paper. Could be a dinosaur. We never know. Could be a jar, I think. I'm gonna take this. From Mauro Summary. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Fra Mauro Highlands of the Moon. That was a fucking mouthful. 32 hours after the return of the Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr. Blank, a White House senior official, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. This kind of reminds me of that uh, Rick and Morty episode where uh, that parasite turns into like, uh, like inserts memories in your head to make them to make you think like they're actually real, like you they've been with you like for years. 
Uh, note, an altercation between NASA and NASA, between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Blank called to clarify the matter, though tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. This is back in 71, eh? So this guy's been here. This entity has been here for, what, 40 years? 50 years? How fucking crazy is that? And he's just been stuck in a cell the whole time? Alright, well, let's take these items one by one. This could be what it wants. Let's Can give it a shot. Can we take more than one item? No, we cannot. Alright. Here's your, uh... Is your magic dragon? No, no, jars. A head. Starch and peppers. Head. Okay, that wasn't right. Let's try something else. Scotch and peppers. Double sheriff. I don't like this. Maybe. Head. A. S. B. E. Head. Nope. Let's keep trying. <laughs> Might as well try the toilet paper. will do the trick. Guess that wasn't it either, huh? Perusa, you ping pong. You know what I bet it wants? Ooh, that's some... Some J.J. Abrams lighting. I bet it wants a pen and paper. I... 100%, I bet you that... Or 100 bucks, I bet you that's what it wants. A pen and paper. Or pencil and paper. Is that cheese? That's food. Um, before I commit to one of those, let's see if there's anything else. Maybe something here? No. Can we enter it? No. Alright, I guess we'll try ball or fruit and fruit platter. Or a cheese platter, I guess. There wasn't really much fruit on there that I could see. This might do it. Maybe. I I don't think this is it, to be honest. Grady, you are school and dirt for losing. Keep that up, and I won't help you anymore. Doesn't he kind of sound like Langston? Let's see if this will do it. I'm ready to be done with this. Furry clocks, lady. The head. 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 No snacks. Head is top of all up and down. At the top. The top head. Wait, does this thing actually mean head? 
head is in a body's head? Where the hell am I gonna find that? And how did, did I ha- lose it? Is it up here, maybe? Uh. Find the head. Is it even here? Oh, it's not even here. Sector head office. We gotta go somewhere completely different. All right. Okay, I don't think it's pen and paper at this point. I thought it was just going to be something as simple as, like, they can't understand it, but they can't understand what he's saying, but, like, if he writes it down, they can understand him. I mean, hey, you could say that they most likely would have tried that, but at the same time, this fucker's been here for 50 years. What is that? Like your type around here. All right, Ati. What's this? What you had in mind? Oh, okay. I mean, might as well end up there. So, Eagle Limited and Utility Corridor. So that's the other side, I guess. And utility corridor, I'm guessing, is north. Yeah. Alrighty. I can dig it. No music? Well. I did not expect that to happen. I can say that with abs absolute certainty. Uh, okay, I know where I am. I'm aware of my surroundings and my... And where I am. There we go. Abilities, three points. All right. Um... Can we do with three points? I don't want to do melee. Shield, maybe. Seize duration. I still kind of just want to level up the energy and the health. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just save the points. Nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Langston. Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different. Like I'm, I'm a known crazy for shit today. wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want to brag. So <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research... Yeah, I'm not I'm not sticking around this time. Alright. Eagle Limited. I'm guessing after that this will open up. I mean I'm sure I could just fly on through, but there's probably uh something blocking my way. Oh shit. Well fuck. Where am I? Oh, I can just take the elevator up. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Look who's back. Anyway, as I was saying, 
Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know what? Shut up. Uh, back here. Nope. Oh my god. Altered I can't items really aren't that frightening. I can't Once shoot you them. Get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of all the shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team. But sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. You've already said all this, so buddy. Get my work done and get home to feed out. The fuck? Between these guys and Langston, this is a fucking nightmare. Oh my god. Hey. All right, what am I doing here? Where is the exit? I need a door. I need a door that will open when I come near it. Otherwise, what was the point of all this? There really was no point to all this, was there? Um, Eagle Limited. Do I just go there then? Active investigations. Is that where I came from? So this is where I came from, yes. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. You 
know what? You guys can enjoy each other's company. And this was a dead end. Lovely. I should go down this way. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of activity going on up there. That's some battle music, man. Is that darkness? Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Let's power this area up. Yay! I'm assuming this is the way to go? I have no idea. Yeah, I guess it is. What is going on here? Director Faden here. Dispatch a ranger to this location. All right. Let's do this. Let's do it. I was playing that too aggressively. I know. I know.
Are you fucking kidding me? Come on. Motherfucker. Come up here just to go up there. Is this it? That's where I'm supposed to go. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Bro! Give me the fucking light! So this is the utility corridor then. So there's like a hidden, not hidden area, but like a side area. Um, where are you? Where are you? I feel your presence. I can feel the hate flow through you. Good fucking riddance. Is it actually going places? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's head back for now. I mean, I would say fuck this light, but it's pretty goddamn dark. At least there's a lot of lights. I, I didn't do that. He did it. Brain missing. To the good for nothings at the security check. I know you took a part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector. That metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether they're taking a part of my brain, whether taking part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now, I don't know which it is and I can't remember what you did to me. But I can tell you this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back. And you can be sure that the next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I'll be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You just mind your own business. Yep, that guy definitely has some brain missing. All right, so we, oh my God, it's dark. Anything through here? Yeah, that's a, where is that?
Oh, well, I didn't mean to drop my light. Um, I may have fucked up, guys. I may have done a goof. Oh no, wait, wait, we got we got another light here. Oh, that dropped the thing. Okay, I'm kinda curious to see where that where that uh, thing went to. Or not where it went to, but where it goes. Um, this right here. Kind of curious. Um, all right. Can I actually go down there? Oh, yes, I can. I okay. Well, it looks like a secret area. Kind of. Maybe. Looks like an elevator, maybe? Why must be there be, like, scary whispers every time I hold the light? Sounds like kids screaming or something. I don't think I care for it. Oh, that brings me here. Brings me here. Um. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. You can fuck right off. There. Go navigate yourself through the darkness. See if I give a fuck. Okay. We're making some progress, guys. I'm making some progress. Anything up there? No. And of course, the light goes kaput. AC systems, eh? Oh, this is spore territory. Ooh. Night Springs screenplay page two. I didn't hold it long enough. There we go. The robust director shoves the nerd like scientist aside and heads for the portal control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. All the more reason. The entire screen is filled with danger with dangerous red. Then it fades away and we see that the two men are in another dimension. The air ripples around them as if they were a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun after a five-day road trip. That's a pretty vivid image. Interior, unknown dimension, night. What have you done? You've doomed us! Uh, no, we need, no, we need a nerd-like scientist. Ah, uh, what have you done, sir? You've, you've doomed us. Control yourself, doctor. Where is this beast of yours? Ah, uh, right there, sir. A horrible, shapeless, shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. What a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me. Kind of sound like uh, Mr. Bones or Uncle Bones, whatever he's called.
Yeah, nothing else here. Maybe. Oh. Oh. No Yay! Seed, no mold spore circulation. But it might get a bit stuffy in here. Mission completed. I'm winner. I wasn't even looking at whatever. What fucking ever. So, Did the Har Hartman thing do all this? Oh, all these bodies. I mean, oh, Jesus. Um, this is new. Well, I mean, this had to have happened recently, right? Because, like, listen to that blood squelch like it's it hasn't coagulated yet so it has to be fresh like within the hour even the hour is probably too much within the last 30 minutes okay um so that just gives us another so okay we are able to open all of them Maybe? Oh, I see. So that needs two. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So this goes all the way there. And then there was another battery over there. Um, that is over here. So, before we put this anywhere, let's just, let's just hold our horses. So we want to do this one first. Right. Or we can do that one and get the fourth battery. So that one needs three. And that one needs four. So I need to do that anyway. Okay. So. First one will go over there, over here, over there, over here, over there. Second battery. Uh, we'll go like that, and then like that, and like that. So right there. Redder. And then the fourth battery. Take it off and put it there. So that goes across. I can't see. I'm guessing it goes here. Is that right? There. There, there, there. So I think where it was. There we go. Anything in here? Nope. Okay, this ought to be fun. So I think anything with blue? Just attach with anything with blue. Yeah, I just realized the cables are all color-coded. I mean, yeah. Would have made things simpler, but... Whatever. Is one of them a false dud? So that one goes there. That one is the, that one. Let's follow this one. That one goes there. That's right. That 
third one goes across like that, like that, like that, like that. I think. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And then that last one goes like that, like that, like that, like that. Aha! One of those is a dud. Uh, but which one? I think it was that one. Oh, that one's white. It's not even blue. That was my own stupidity. Okay. Now that we've done that, how do I get in there? How does one... So we need the yellows. We need the two yellows. Wait a minute. What's up here? What's all this shit here? As <sighs> usual, I cannot see dick all. Yellow? Any yellow? Yellow? Yellow. Yay. All right. Reminder. The law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. So you got to turn the faucet on off then on again for it to work that's interesting I wonder what happens if you don't oi any darkness down here Thanks, guys. I needed the health. Well, looks like there's a save point down there. Oh. I don't like this. I don't, don't like this. Limited. Aww. Oh god. Lots of dark corners to hide in. Another one of these. Okay, let's get the lights on and clear him out. The third thing. Move the train forward to activate the lights. Oh god. Where's the where's the light? Oh god. Oh my god. I, I couldn't do anything. Is that an insta kill, really? I was gotta die at least once during these things. Where'd he go? Are you hiding? Are you hiding? Bad touch. Alright. 
Well, what does this do? Oh, it's going down. Do I? What is this? Investigate the train altered item. Okay, before I do that, let's uh, take a quick gander around this area. It's over there. Is this the way to move forward? Eagle Limited Supplement. The Bureau has gathered concrete evidence that the train derailment was in fact the work of the paracriminal group known as Blank, which, according to the Bureau's intel, has shown a concerning interest in experimenting with the artificial manufacturing of altered materials. Knowing the group largely operates in the American Midwest, the Bureau worked alongside the FBI to ascertain their movements and rendezvous locations. The cooperation provided agents with information that led to an arrest in conjunction with the AWE case. Under suspicion of involvement, Blank was brought in for questioning. An interrogation performed by Agent Blank resulted in the suspect being kept in a holding cell for two days without food in breach of the Parrot Criminal Rights Act. You're telling me this kind of, this kind of thing went through Congress? The Parrot Criminal Rights Act? Afterwards, the suspect confessed to his involvement in the blank group and provided information on other members in exchange for his freedom. Okay, uh, I don't know why it's giving us a bulb. But I'm gonna guess we might need it. Actually, there wouldn't be any darkness in this area, I don't think. I mean, it's well lit up, right? 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 Oh, hi. Ugh. So we came in here earlier. So is this where our apartment went? Oh god, no. You can fuck right off. Uh, before we go in there, it looks like that's where we actually need to go. I don't know how I broke that, but I did. Interrogation 4C pertaining to the Eagle Limited incident and its subsequent, um, state alteration. Look, buddy, I have no clue what you're talking about. So you deny being a part of a radical group aiming to affect inanimate objects in a manner that would yield, um, unusual results? Yeah, I deny. But hey, tell me more about these results. They sound real unusual. I'm sure you recognize that the measures this group of yours takes to achieve their goals can be considered acts of terrorism. Goals? Measures? You're being very vague. Did you know you're being very vague? All right, 62 dead. Passengers and crew, innocent people. Still sound vague to you? You might as well stop wasting both our time. I won't say anything that you can't say anything. I know you can. Tell you what I can do. 
I can throw your sorry ass in one of our cozy containment cells. You can rot there until you're ready to talk. Or you could just save us both the trouble and tell me all about how you're going around creating altered items. How's that sound? Uh, did you really think we wouldn't catch on to you? We always do. Always. So you might as well come clean. For your sake. I, uh... <clears throat> I think I'll just talk to my lawyer instead. That's not how it works around here, buddy. But tell you what, why don't I leave you here to think on it for a while? See you in a couple of days. Wait, wait, wait! Good on them. Calling their bluff like that. Calling his bluff. Okay, so is there anything here? No. Does not look like it. Alright, let's try out this fucking train. All aboard. Tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that we exited. Chaotic. Felt like it was trying to tell me something. I wonder if I can make sense of it. I didn't realize I could exit. All right. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. I like myself some good jazz. Ooh, that looks good. Those potatoes? Potatoes and broccoli and a nice steak. Kind of looks like a, a ribeye without the bone. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. Oh, my God. Fire! Fire! Everyone, stay in your seat. Stay in your seat. So, what is it trying to tell me? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears. As we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, oh my God. Carlinville, oh my God. and Springfield. Oh my God. Take it, please. Take it. Yeah, I don't really know what it's trying to tell me.
What does it say here for the mission for connecting to the train? Jessica decides to investigate the train altered item. Nothing up there anyway. It's not up there. Yes, there is darkness around here. darkness oh there you are <laughs> done nice that should make him happy you're welcome Ooh, Auntie Postcard. Correspondence. I'll take a look at that. Tatis. A crazy person works hard and a wise person gets away with less. Happy vacation to me. Worm gre greetings from watery Washington. America's little Finland. That's so cute. I wish I could uh, zoom it in. Good for you, Ati. You deserve it. Uh, just to get rid of that multimedia thing. Alright. So, let's see if what we can find on the train AWE. Um, what was it called again? Eagle something? files okay a train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as blank as a result of this event agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event it remains to be determined whether the aw was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage the Bureau had been tracking said group at the time of the intel gathered, suggests that an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, a response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find an emergency process underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. 
duh, duh, duh. we just read that one a little while ago. Okay. So everything I need. So it is in this area. I don't have to go anywhere else. So something we have to do in the train. Maybe I have to do it in a certain order. So I'm guessing this. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. And then we do the tickets. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. And then we do the Good music. all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Being served, and then we do oh this God. one. And then this one. We got it. Look at that. So we just had to play them in the order of events. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a ticket? You had a pretty dark ride, huh? But I hope you're done replaying it now. So we got a, a case file. So train car procedures. The item's altered effect can be avoided by simply not entering it. Proper signage and barriers should provide sufficient containment. The item is currently held in the investigation sector AWE West Hangar for ongoing investigations. The item's exterior is out of a standard CZ-10 Vista Dome train car, the largest known altered item on record. Its interior seems to be an adjacent reality related to a trauma or memory belonging to a blank and not the physical item's own history. Causation for this link is still to be determined, but possibilities include the outside interference possibly responsible for the item's altered state or trauma imprinting via shared memory states. The item was discovered when the Bureau responded to a suspected crime scene in Bloomington, Illinois. The item was identified as an altered item and transported to the Bureau for examination and testing. Okay, cool. We solved the mystery here. And I think that does it there. So let's continue on to uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Pursue Hardman. There we go. The third thing. And I guess we need to go here. I can come up here. Okay, Shaded Specimen A010, formerly Dr. Emil Hartman. Okay, so Shaded Specimen. Specimen. An alert from the blank Washington monitoring station indicated minor blank activity occurring in the area. Agent Estevez was dispatched to investigate. Inside the blank lodge, she discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman. He had been converted into a shaded individual, per definitions found in whatever and displayed violent behavior characteristic of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence and, with some difficulty, it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitant were transported safely back to HQ where the specimen remains detained in the blank sector as part of the blank AW investigation. 
Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to relocate the specimen to their sector for study. So they wanted to study Hartman, eh? I mean, it makes sense. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Physics! Hey. Come on. Let's go, Bubaloo. Thanks. Did it close off the area behind me? No, it didn't. Uh, I cannot see anything. Where in the flying fuck am I? All right. Motel complaint. Hey, Stu, did you hear about Fisher? Got himself in trouble in the motel. Why the hell does anyone volunteer to stake out that place? Gives me the creeps. But hey, at least he came back, if you can call it that. I saw some of the footage they pulled out of there with him. Tom down in evidence processing showed me. Crazy stuff. Fisher had the cameras pointed at himself half the time. I'm guessing he went nuts on day one. He did catch something, though. Got one of those fiber optic cameras under the door of the room he was hiding in and recorded something out in the hall. Looked like a shadow. Maybe human? Tom tried to get the quality up, but it's still blurry as fuck. Just reaffirms my position. Stay the fuck out of the motel. Anyway, up for some shoom later. Lisa got up to an hour and 38 minutes yesterday. New record to beat. See ya, Dave. I guess an hour and 38 minutes in real time? That's fucking crazy, man. You know what the crazy thing is? We, when we were playing the arcade, there's a second arcade cabinet. That's uh, it's gonna be something. Is that a hole? Oh no, never mind. Okay. Where am I? Oh god, another one. Okay. Um... I'm good, I'm good, I'm hidden. Or I'm... Not hidden, but you know. To defeat Hartman. I would, I would hope once and for all, but I know we definitely got to go in the middle area. Are we battling? Did you want to battle, sir? Because you will lose. I didn't think he'd still be there. Shit, shit, shit! Oh, no! I couldn't move! Fuck!
Is that one cleared? I can't even tell. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing, to be honest. Ah, okay. So I just need to do all that. Oh, come on. No, come on. Fuck you. Are you fucking kidding me? So I got I gotta take out the Oh shit! No! The 
this one's really gonna suck. Where did that guy come from? Buddy. Okay. Now where's the switch? Eat shit, Hartman. Killing that guy is gonna be so goddamn satisfying. You guys have no idea. I just turned on the fucking... How is it still so goddamn dark? Where'd he even go? There? I'm not gonna lie, I'm having fun with this DLC, but at the same time, it is so goddamn fucking annoying. Please don't make me fight shit. Please don't make me fight shit. Um, let me go this way here. Oh my god, Langston, I swear to fucking god. I swear to god, if you say a single thing. Ooh, there was a thing there. But I can't even jump. I don't even know how to get that. Yeah, I have to fly up? I don't even know how to get that. I saw it. I just don't know how to get it, because I can't jump in there either. Can I... No, I couldn't. Which way was it? Maybe I bring the elevator down, then I pour it up here, and then I just fall down? No, but the gate would be closed. I don't know, whatever. Honestly, don't really care. just came through here god he was hideous he tore the security door into the bright falls awe site wide open he was so ugly like wow i got a good look at him and christ he does not look like he used to 
The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man. Or a monster from some 80s horror movie. You know, back when it was all practical effects? Ugh! Did, nasty! Real Did you say something? Instant. Remember, I can't hear you. Never mind, just go after Hartman. Oh, so disgusting. I've written, rewritten, the dark... Ooh, okay. I've written and rewritten, deconstructed, reconstructed, experimented with different voices, changed the style, changed myself, forgotten the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? Gone down this path before? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress, recap, then write more. The style then, lose the fat. Make it clear, ugly, functional, present, be blunt, only the brutal truth, cut through the reality, tear it apart, rewrite it, be clever, make them do the work, form the image in their minds, they make it, you just imply, incept, they're drawn to the mystery, obsessed, you set it up, they put it together, their interpretation, and there's only one, because you give them no choice, and they believe in it because it's theirs now. I have no idea what that, any of that means. It wants to hide the past and make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. Are they? All right, Hartman. Let's end this once and for all. So we can be done with this and continue on with the main story. All right? Stuck. Let's go take care of it. So much blackness. Oh, here we go. Fuck you. I wanted the light, and you know I wanted the light. How fair was that? You tell me. How how fucking fair was that? All right. Let's try this again. Hey, asshole. How about you eat shit, huh? How about that? How about you eat the biggest fucking shit? And then you could just die. Like that. Piece of shit.
Oh, I think I have some anger issues to resolve. All right. Thank you for meeting with us again, Dr. Hartman. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I've provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I do consider myself a keen observer of... We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you in fact encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but of course. I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they said. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offense System. What? You can't do this? I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Fuck you, Hartman. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not gonna like this, am I? One. Two. Three. I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. Already forgot, I wonder. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. He's putting him mildly. Like, very mildly. This motel is eerie as fuck at night. Like the light shining through. Is there a light I could take? No. It's probably in one of the other rooms. Oh my god. I even reach it? I can. Oh! I see. I just have to turn on the light next to it.
That third door won't open until I clear it, I guess. Yeah. I'm still trying to gather what the motel has to do with any of this, especially with uh, the Alan Wake DLC, you know what I mean? Like, I get it, it's kind of like a nexus between, like, the different events, I guess, but... Like, why is the darkness invading the motel? You know what I mean? Going in mad. Wake had to escape. The story needed many beginnings, many springs, streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her, went berserk, broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real. The more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head. Going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His. Escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. Wake created a Dada's poem. I try anything once. Or had he tried this before? So, again, I'm not really understanding, like... Okay, for those of you not really understanding what's going on, whatever Wake is writing is coming true. He's basically a uh, self-fulfilling prophecy kind of thing. It's kind, kind of. Um, he's, basically, his, he's basically create he is basically creating uh, an altered item uh, by writing this manuscript that's coming to life. Uh, that's kind of basically the story of the main Alan Wake game. Like, spoilers, I guess, but we'll, we'll get to it sooner or later. What I don't understand is why is he doing this? Like, was Hartman here before Alan wrote the story? Or um, is Alan, is like Alan Wake writing the story so we can defeat Hartman? Because you can't just be like, Hartman just died of a heart attack. Because, like, there's no real story in that. You know what I mean? As he said, he needs a hero. There needs to be a crisis. There needs to be conflict. Um, but why is he doing it this way? That That's what I'm not getting. Like, was why, why did the story even need to take place? Was Hartman here already? Or did he create this whole story for whatever reason? I don't know. Hopefully we'll find out. Uh, and that's... Oh. 
Oh yeah, the Hartman mission. His escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special, something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Okay. Oi. Oh man, I really don't like this. Brightness fall. Another Bright falls in the replica. Man. Like the one they made for ordinary. I wonder what happened here. Director Faden here. Send back up to my location. Let's do this! I have no idea what that is. I can't even see it. What is that? Is there something back there? Did I just open a door? Oh, it's an elevator. I can't see shit. Alright, I'm just heading back up so I can... Oh my god, guys. There was something else here. What is this? Alice Wake interview. I might as well. After reaching out to the Bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview on blank 2017. See file blank for the full transcript. The interview conducted by Agent Shaw and Dempsey revealed that Mrs. Wake had recurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in New York apartment. Address blank. Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Mrs. Wake believes that he is haunting her, insisting he is not Alan, but a fucking monster in his body. It's not Alan. Uh, if you've kind of been paying to the story so far here, it's been mentioned who it is. Mrs. Wake has not been sleeping out of the fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on through the night result in the relevant hallways light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the blank. Further investigation required. We propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of supply requests from L whatever have been sent to mr kirkland and administration for approval um bring her to the fucking bureau and put her in one of these shelters i mean you guys clearly have no problem putting someone in there for 50 years help this poor woman and help me by give me a goddamn fucking flashlight Alright, let's do this. I don't even know how I'm supposed to see this shit. Maybe I'm just supposed to drop down. Oh, sorry, bro. Alright. Oh, that's the recording box. We'll deal with that later. Um, we're really fighting? Really? I don't know how I'm supposed to move. Oh, there's a light there. Alright. No! Like, fucking seriously? Oh, there's another one here. No. Put it there. Did 
That guy's got balls. I'll give him that. I mean, I guess it's not even really attacking him. So, so what am I doing here? So it looks like I put all these in. Alright. Show me your ass. I don't want to see that. That's kind of a pussy when it comes to light, eh? Batteries out? Yeah, he did. Oh. How about you fuck off, bro? You are ugly. Come on, you bitch. Come on. Be a problem anymore, Langston. But investigations need someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. Aren't you a sector head? I'm getting something on my terminal here an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong a couple of years in the future. <laughs> and we're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. Thing 
must set in motion. If the alarm's true, then so is the reason for the alarm. The effect must follow the cause. It's happening again. I'll return. You have been warned. Of course, I need to fight. Oh my god, bro! Oh jeez! take a minute to fucking breathe here all right so if i'm right i was gonna say earlier um so the the awe call that they got but it's from the future or whatever that's obviously alan wake too right uh and he said like s of it should be uh you know taking care of that she should be like the one that's like monitoring what if the what if that's who we play as because i know we play as like some kind of fbi agent and alan wake it's like you play as both of them. What if the FBI agent, and it's a female as well, is actually an FBC agent? I don't know her name. I, I again, I'm trying to stay as uh, spoiler free of Alan Wake Two as possible. The only thing I know is that it exists, and there's you play as two characters. That's all I know, and that's all I'm I'm keeping. Like I, I don't want anything spoiled. But I, if it's true, I fucking call it. And how fucking cool is that that we get to play as an FBC agent if it's true? But in the meantime, fuck Hartman. He is finally fucking dead. All right, what do we got here? Notes of Doctor Emil Hartman. I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties were too blind to recognize a golden opportunity. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. 
though I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of old pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had hoped Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together we could have produced art such that the world has never seen. But Wake was stubborn, egotistical. Writers usually are. Disappointing nonetheless. But now, like Tom before him, Wake has disappeared into Cauldron Lake. And this is where my work turns. Hypothetical. Since he was lost to the lake, Thomas Zane has been observed by various townspeople. This indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone. I anticipate Wake will similarly return one day. While I may harbor some resentment for the man, his raw talent and determination are undeniable. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark place within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Given my acute awareness of what awaits within, my meticulous preparations, and my considerable education, I believe myself much more prepared than either Tom or Wake. I should be able to cross into that dark realm with the chance to return as they have. All that remains is the dive itself. It frightens me, I admit, but such is the burden of the truth seeker. I will take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. It is time for a breakthrough until I return. It's actually very interesting. Um... Again, I know all of this is completely out of context for you guys. Um, it's it's interesting to say the least. Bright Falls 76 supplement. On the day of the flooding, the rock band Old Gods of Asgard was rehearsing in a field outside the Anderson farm, the homestead of band members Odin and Tor Anderson, both admitted to being in a heavy state of inebriation at the time, having spent days drinking their home-brewed moonshine while celebrating Deerfest. Deerfest is like, um, it's like a celebration, I think kind of like Oktoberfest before Bright Falls. Um, it's, it's just an annual festival that they have. Um, it, it takes place within the Alan Wake game. After the townspeople were evacuated from the flooded field, Sheriff Breaker was asked by Freya Anderson, daughter of Tor Anderson, Freya, that's funny, uh, to check on her father and uncle. Uh, Breaker drove to the Anderson farm and found the band members alive, but in need of medical aid. Tor Anderson had been struck by lightning and Odin had cut out his own right eye. Possible reference to North De Norse deities blank and blank. Odin and Thor. Uh, they claimed they had fought and valiantly defeated a dark army of the Scratching Hag, rising from Cauldron Lake. Uh, C.A.W.E. blank of 1970 related to the suspected blank at Diver's Isle. While impossible to verify, these events are relevant to the recurring A.W.E. at Bright Falls and Cauldron Lake blank. Odin and Tor Anderson have been listed as persons of interest. Now, this makes a lot of sense. Um, they they claim they had fought and valiantly, valiantly defeated a dark army of the Scratching Hag. That actually kind of... There's a huge reference to that in the game. Um, and they actually wrote a song about it. Um, that's pretty key to the to the game itself. But that was in 76, eh? Interesting. Oh, it's you. I was like, who the fuck is that? Scared the bejeweled out of me, buddy. Wake evidence. A photograph of Alan Wake captured by Alice Wake during a home, an event in her home. 
Alice Wake, former wife of Alan Wake, has been recently visited by at night by her ex-husband or entity resembling him. That's the double that I said that they mentioned. Um, see file blank for more. Being a professional photographer, Mrs. Wake positioned cameras with motion sensors around the corridor he appears in and managed to capture an image of Mr. Wake on film. During an interview with Mrs. Wake, she mentioned that her favorite camera, a blank model, was lost in 2010 during AWE 35. No match has been found among the confiscated evidence from uh, AWE 35. It has been filed as a potential altered item, and research staff stationed at Bright Falls are being contacted to check if they have any knowledge of such an item. That would be cool. The camera that she has that she took a picture of a dark entity actually became uh, an altered world item, an altered item. That'd be crazy. Wake photograph. So that's what we saw, and that's actually pretty terrifying. Um, that's what we saw in the um, that cutscene with Wake. So that's his double. That's Alan Wake's double. That's actually really terrifying. Like wide eyes actually terrify me. I I don't know why, um, but they do. Bright Falls 76 summary. Okay. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake, Washington. The citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southern west fields for the annual festival known as Deerfest. Eyewitnesses all claimed that the day that, uh, day, that blah, 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 blah. the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of the area's weather reports. But then with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of the Anderson Farm and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. It was as if the day had turned to night. Testimony from Blank. Frank Breaker, the sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a bureau agent. That is interesting. Uh, same flow, employee file Blank. Managed to guide the crowd to safety as the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood. The festival was canceled, ending one day early. Lack of official bureau presence on the scene makes this event difficult to report as a confirmed AWE. Though the similarity to other known events in Bright Falls area lend credence to the accounts of the townspeople. Frank Breaker is a former bureau agent, eh? Just keep that in the back of your mind. Because that's kind of interesting. Um, if I remember correctly, it's kind of made reference to in Alan Wake. In the game. But I, I had never put two and two together. I mean, there would be no reason to. Um, it was just basically like the sheriff, the um, the daughter, Sarah Breaker, I think her name was. She mentions that like her dad had like, seen some shit. Like, he would tell stories. So, it stands to reason that, yeah, it makes sense that he was a former bureau agent. Again, if I'm remembering correctly, and I'm pretty sure I am. Okay, at ease, buddy. At ease. You can you can go do whatever. Uh, there's nothing in there, right? Eh? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, uh, I think we're done with this area. Right. So, who were they keeping in here, then? Was it... I guess it, I guess it would be Hartman. Maybe. Bye, dude. Oh, cool.
I don't know how accurate this this model is to the town. I have no idea. Okay, so if you guys want kind of minor spoilers, I, it doesn't really matter. Maybe go ahead like an extra couple of minutes. So that top left picture, I believe that's the lodge where Hartman worked. Um, that we also see there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's also the lodge. That's also the lodge. Best cupcakes. Yeah, there was a diner there. I remember that. Police station. The Deerfest uh, banner. Oh, there you go. There's a picture of the town. Cool. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, I'm just gonna port back. Okay, so before I go anywhere... I, I kind of want to do this. I, I want I want to know what it is. Uh, fast travel. Where the fuck would we be? Uh, oh, there. Sealed fire break. Is it in this office? Of course. This is actually kind of funny. Where is he? Oh, come on. I was expecting a boo. Alright, so it's somewhere here. God, we gotta look for it. Miss a document. Keystone inspection. Mr. Kirkland, we stopped at Keystone on our way to our target AWE, like you asked. I'm set <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sending my report directly to you to try and keep a lid on this Groom and Morales desertion issue issue. We didn't find any sign of them here. Given their records, it is possible they've switched teams like you suspected. But I don't think that's the case. An event definitely occurred here in Keystone, and I think Grumman and Morales got caught up in it. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Reminds me of the ordinary case, but that was just the adults, if I'm remembering the file correctly. This is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an AWE, it seems to be over. We walked through the whole town, and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings. Two overlapping circles with a dot in shared space. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this place off and maybe get the comm guys working on a cover story. Sincerely, Agent Keenum. Is that what the prisoner meant? I guess there's only one way to find out. 
That's true. Um, now I just gotta remember where the fucking portal was. It was here? It was here. Ahead! River Chicken Station! <laughs> oh, far tastier. Press any button? So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes! Snug and grape. Pure grapes. Hail a lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Why are you asking she questions? Helmet? Yes. Teddy's long around. But loan out synapiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we help this guy. I think. Best we leave it locked up, though. I kind of want to know. Is, and we don't need any more problems out here. Um. <laughs> All right. Sure. Why not? A lunar lander. I knew it. The moon landing was faked. Area Fifty One is a cover up. Aliens are real. Although, none of that sounds as exciting as it did a week ago. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Why would you con continue talking to that thing? Like, you wouldn't. You don't even know what the fuck it's saying. All right. So. How much of this shit do we have left? Return to sender. Eradicate the mold. You know what? I want to continue on with the main story. So we want, oh, we're going to be going to the ashtray maze, apparently. Um, I don't even know how to get there. I completely forgot. Let's see where where this takes us. Well, I know where it takes us. It takes us to right next to luck and probability. I just don't remember. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. I think we need to go through parapsychology. Look at my bits floating around. All oh, right. Uh. No. Maybe. 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 It was in dimensional research, so we want to go to the top floor. Right. Okay. I see you fucks over there. Ahoy, ahoy. Really? Oh my god, really? There we go. Oh, two. I got a twofer. Don't mess with the director. This was Darling's office, right? 
Yeah. Don't want to hear your shit, darling. Okay, so we're supposed to go through the ashtray maze. I don't know how we're going to do this. Oh. Broken? How many dead ends can this place have? We need to find Ati. Uh, okay. Another tangent. Uh, janitor's office. Okay. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I've been to Ati's office in so long. Probably got another another couple of side quests we need to do. You know, the never ending side quests. It's all wet here. All right. Well, unfortunately, the search for Ati will have to wait until next time. Um, I'm kind of glad that we finally got through the the Alan Wake DLC. Um, as cool as it was, I found it extremely frustrating, but um, intriguing nonetheless. Um, fuck Hartman. And um, he can kiss the, he can kiss my ass. That's pretty much all I have to say about him. I hope you guys are enjoying everything so far. I know it was uh, probably not the most fun-filled episode, but as I said, it was uh, it was a little um, draining at times, kind of taxing. It was getting on my nerves quite a bit. But as I said, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great time. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.